60s, both cops were called and they're both dead. Yeah. That's the response to a mental crisis here in the States. And that needs to change. Why, uh, why, are, we, why are we being met? Uh, why are jails and being used as hospitals and shelters? Why are police being used as first responders? There are people that are trained for this work that are going to offer that kind of healing for the folks that need it. Being mentally ill is not a crime. It's, um, not. it's not. T t tell me about what, what Measure J can do um, in response to this. Great. Thank you for that question. And so I'm going to put us where we are now, right? So if you have a loved one who's having a mental health crisis or needs access to care, tell me, do you know somewhere you can walk your loved one to and find that place? Most often than not, when you ask that person that question, they don't know where there's mental health crisis centers. They don't know where to call or oftentimes they do call for help, but there's long waiting hours. Why? Because there's not enough of those type of teams that are, you know, doctor and nurse led. We haven't invested in that infrastructure. And so what Measure J does is for the first time, it lets us decide our tax dollars, where they would go and how we would prioritize them. And for those two things, it's community investment. So that looks like youth jobs, youth support. It looks like a building up affordable housing. It looks like giving people access to community-based mental health care, substance use, uh, you know, services. It also talks, it, it, it invests in pretrial services and pretrial